it's Sonia and welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Today I thought I would have a go at uh, refilling, making a, well, refilling this sort of dry gouache palette um, because some of the colours I did actually end up using up. This is very old, so okay, to start with, normally I don't, I just use gouache out of a tube and this is when I'm in um, at home in the studio or even when I've gone away I've taken a palette with me and yeah I tend to use this try and use it up clean it start again um, I know you can do dry, years ago this is from quite a while ago I got um, a tin and I refilled these little half pans with some gouache but I didn't really use it for whatever reason and now I'm feeling if I do go out urban sketching or I go away I don't want to take tubes to be honest with you it's a bit of a hassle also I've tried my Caran d'Ache palette but that's quite big and heavy like if you go out sketching with your bag I just want something a little bit I mean this one's quite bulky I could probably get a smaller and lighter one but I'm very much trying to use what I have um, and I also like I talked about sort of money saving tips I mean I guess one idea is if you do have a travel palette that you've used up keep it and refill the half pans with gouache or watercolor again so anyway I've got this I'm going to reuse this I had a dried up tin of the reason there's two ochres here is that I had a very dried up tube and I wanted to make sure I didn't waste the gouache so I've stuck it in those those two are from a tube that I had to um, tear apart and get rid of my plan now is to uh, I thought I'd go through with you and fill these up I mean so for example the colors I've chosen are I've tried to choose some like primary mixing colors and also just to refill ones that I can tell with the same colour like this one I can't I can't be bothered to completely clean this out I'm just going to stick some on top I'm sure this isn't this is not a technical how to necessarily I'm not an expert or very neat and tidy when I do this sort of stuff um but yeah we'll, 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 we'll find out if it works it seemed to when I tried to reactivate for example these have been in this palette for years and when I've gone back in look I can show you now actually uh with a brush let's go in to this so I'm going to keep the colours as these ones that are old and uh, because they do seem to for my purposes and the other thing I want to sh try I'll have to clear my desk and stop it to show is this um, abstract sketchbook some ideas but for example yeah so that's reactivating fine I can't see any mould or issues there so I'm happy just to uh, keep these old colours and now I'm going to have a go at refilling some of these. So let's go with it. Now, I did watch a lot of, um, I mentioned on my Patreon, I did end up watching a lot of videos on how to do a dry gouache palette. And again, to mention here, Linda Marcel, uh, um, there was a great video and I'll link it uh, below on how to, a very in-depth one on you know um getting a great gouache palette together uh and what am i doing sorry i'm doing this uh, this is okay so one of the tips and she kindly also shared some tips with me is to apparently i hadn't heard of this before but this is a i it was on offer as well at the moment on amazon it was like five dollars blending medium i think it slows drying um to allow blending so okay so apparently a few drops of this just a few drops into these when you are making your um palette is a great thing i may only show a bit of this on video because i have a fin this could otherwise be i mean i could talk all the way through it as i refill this um so i've got like I found some old cocktail sticks that the kids had so I'm gonna just stir this together I have to say I haven't I've only recently got back into I'll do a couple with you on video and then I think I'm going to turn it off uh, the, and just do it by myself 
because I, I mean, it's going to be very repetitive. This is actually quite fun though. It's quite a nice sensation of stirring this together. Now, and then apparently, so, hold on, I don't know if it's in shot. Yeah, here we go. That's my first um, one. So as I said, I've tried to just go for some of the colours that would, I'd probably just take away six tubes and then, oh gosh, it's going to be very messy. The thing is, I'm not a perfectionist, so this is probably going to be a very messy process. So what you do is then let that dry. I believe from watching some of these videos, you do will get sometimes a bit of cracking, but the point is, uh, I don't particularly want one of those stay wet palettes necessarily. I just want to have some gouache. Um, it's a way also of should, this is comes into sort of like a sort of a money saving video tips because I also feel doing this with your gouache, if you've got any tubes that are drying up or even you can, there's videos on ones that are completely dry, how you can like re put them into palettes, reconstitute them and make them. It's just a way of making sure you don't waste your paints. Having it in another sort of an easy accessible um, palette as well so say you haven't got much time you could have some in another room or you know it's just a way of yeah let's just we'll see how we do with this basically I think I'm going to just turn because I think the process for every single palette is going to be filling up a palette is going to be the same sometimes I am being super lazy and I'm just gonna stick stuff on top of that and I don't know how that's gonna turn out but there we go uh, because I do want black when I go away because I just like it for making things dark. Okay, let's stop this video and I'll come back in when I've completed this task. So it's a couple of days later from when I made, uh, I originally, I can't remember when I did it, but anyway, I've, um, I've given the paints hopefully some time to dry. Uh, so yeah, here is my hopefully dry gouache palette. And I thought I would have a go at seeing you know, what it's like, maybe swatching them in this little, uh, I've got a little, I like these uh, sketchbooks, these Artesia watercolor sketchbooks. Um, and they're great for uh, plein air travel sketching. So this is one I started a while ago, um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna use it. I wanna do more urban sketching and I've got a sketch walk with a drawing group coming up. So I definitely want to practice some techniques um, think about more about my process and how I want to share it so I thought it might be quite fun to re see how these reactivate what they're going to be like in the, sort of a studio so I can then take them away with me and anything else and then maybe also for this video show it a little bit at the end of other stuff that I've been working on um, recently a bit of a catch-up good so Let's see. Now, how will I? Yeah, it'll be like this. So I'm testing it on watercolor paper. Uh, I'm gonna have a go. It's my rough. I think these would be fine though. In I haven't got my handy my um anything goes journal. I mean, the true test will be what will they be like on like other paper as well. I mean, some of this is already a little bit dirty. I can't even, I have no idea. I haven't labeled the colors. I just wanted to get a sense of, um, so that when I'm out and about, if I do this, the way I see it is hopefully I will know what the colours are by themselves. I think this is not going to be for, for me, when I'm at home, I much prefer, I do like having my, they're all piled up, my tubes of um, gouache, and I do like to have, just use them a little bit out of a, onto a palette. Where, where am I up to? Oh, we go. But I think, yeah, for out and about drawing and sketching, maybe even to keep inside in the kitchen, because 
don't really have any paints. I've been experimenting with like ink tense pencils and just markers when I'm doing sort of um, kitchen drawings. But it would be quite fun to have a set of paints of gouache inside. And this is a way of maybe keeping them there and then taking them out with me. For my purposes, I think this is going to be absolutely fine. What I will do is bring along a tube of uh, white gouache. Not This is my big at home one, but I've got a smaller one. I will take the white gouache because I think I will then just put the white onto the palette. And I'm, I'm hoping, let's, shall we see? Let's just see if I'm right on this. This will be, I feel like reconstituting them or from this sort of dry format. For example, this, this is chromium, I think this is chromium of oxide. It, it's gonna be a lot harder to make it as opaque as norm as I normally would from the tube. But if I add, that's with the white, yeah. That's, I feel like I get the full opacity through bringing along the tube. I'm so used to using um, my Japanese watercolours when I'm going to like water soluble paints. It's really weird trying to swish around in a tiny palette, tiny, sort of, tiny little pan. This red's definitely come out very in, but these two are the same, so I just need to do one. So I'll quickly get through these. This one's cracked, but that's fine. I think my concern was would they crack and then crumble and completely fall out of the pans, but that hasn't happened. Whoa. I think the yellow's gone into this blue, I don't believe it was. Really feel like I've contaminated that though. Yeah, I did. Well, that just shows you can get your nice, your own sort of uh, cypress green by mixing the yellow and blue you don't need. Anyway, so I thought I'd hold this up. So yeah, so it looks like this, I don't know why I've not done this before, but I haven't. I used to actually carry these tubes out with me sometimes. Um, but this looks like a good method of, uh, I've got a nice squash palette now for urban sketching because I shall definitely bring this I hope along when I do the um I'm doing a sketch walk with a drawing group but I'm going to practice beforehand just so I can make sure I'm oh my gosh does that that's good fun uh practice beforehand with it as well so now I thought I would just show you a couple of things uh that I've been up to just give you I don't know I feel like I like to watch videos for just a little bit of inspiration for my sketchbook um and yes yeah, so this is i've shown this i'm not i am not gonna go through it too much detail here because i did do a patreon only process video and i went through the sketchbook but this is like a new i think i did that page uh this is a new project uh that i've <laughs> i've got distracted in um i wanted to do another altered sketchbook there's a sketchbook tour of a previous abstract altered Book that I really enjoyed the process of and I'd found some really cheap like a dollar a library sale um, vintage books that I felt would be good to transform so um, I feel like I also want to have a quick you know what I really want to go I want to see how this gouache works just out of interest for myself so interestingly these are like a, um, a sort of an oil they're um, an oil-based pencil, I believe, and um, so you can see there's a bit of resistance as well. So I'll let that one dry. That's a project I am um, got going on. 
I still have these little sheets of uh, the, the other reason I wanted to do that project is because I keep having these weird tester sheets of paper that grow and grow or just weird abstracts that are and they're on paper and I want to sort of like use them as collage material and cut them out or look for areas within them and I thought that might be a good way of sticking somewhere to stick them down because it feels a bit weird sometimes sticking um, collage onto blank paper which that sounds weird because that's what collage is but I don't know I've always felt like I should draw maybe if I just made a collage page within an altered book it's a way of covering up the print um, with art sort of like a way of filing it in some ways and then quickly I've also got over here this I did recent I did this yesterday I really like how this one's turned out I'm still coming on with my very mixed media style um landscapes that sometimes i've got a reference photo but i'm not really looking at it too much and often they're places i know and i'm just allowing myself to really play with markers pencils just layering it all up um yeah and trying you know where i can not to stay too realistic to colors just adding in my own mark making and that's been super fun and yeah still playing with vases as well or vases uh and just i like this one this was you know from a the daffodils in front of me and a way of i guess because i keep drawing the same thing and again and again sometimes i just need to vary how i put it into a composition or i'm like i've drawn daffodils 10 20 times this week because those are the flowers that i had in front of me and i don't know what i'm going to put on this vase i'll have a think but that's that and have i got my other sketchbook to hand over there. I have got another Anything Goes journal, but this is like my studio one. Why do I keep starting? I think the problem was I started to be aware I had very large sketchbooks and sometimes I don't want... This is quite a delicate sketch that I actually quite like. Um, with a mechanical coloured... I used a coloured lead. I mean, they're not... Yeah, it is very delicate. But it's just kind of like the size. This is a nice size, isn't it? Sometimes I find the large ones a bit, if you've only got a few minutes. And I'm also trying to be even more use up scraps. Why it's handy to have it here is because I do have a lot of collage material, so I could hopefully add more collage to this one. Whereas my journal inside is just turning out to be drawings, sort of kitchen, kitchen table drawings mainly. I've even got one by the bed, which is turning out into drawings of kids reading. But, you know, so it is... A tip is, if you have the space, it is quite handy to have uh, a little bit of art material in various places because often you don't want to be like running around the house trying to find the ones. If you've, if you've got one in a drawer, you can just get that out. If you've got pasta on the boil, um, porridge on the boil, you've got 10 minutes to quickly just have a little jot something down and maybe, you know, because otherwise what's the other turn? Otherwise you end up sometimes like scrolling, yeah phone or I don't know anyway just some ideas and um yeah thank you for watching uh hopefully you are having fun with your art materials and I will see you in my next video bye